Morning, y'all. Lovely sunrise almost, and there is Madeira just around the corner. We're docking, we're getting off. It's James's big day. Can he? Come on, James. I see you do it today. Ryan Little. <laughs> there she is, Queen Mary 2. So, up at the golf course here now in Madeira. Wow, look at the shit down there in port. It's pretty massive, isn't it? And we're just about to start with James. Let's meet him on the first tee. I wonder how the nerves are doing. So on the first tee, James was definitely feeling a little bit nervous. At 400 yard par four, he's using his four iron preferred tee off club. And yeah, he tops the first one. <laughs> he wasn't impressed with that. We have another go. You can still, he's still stacking the shaft. Nowhere near as much, but he is still stacking that shaft up. But his second go, nice little draw onto the left hand side of the fairway. Now you can see how high his hands still want to get through impact, so he's really fighting that tendency. Now this is a wedge shot, we can see he lays the shaft down, so when you give him some loft he has the confidence to make that action uh, a little bit more aggressive and he hits a nice wedge into the middle of the green. James is chipping and putting was decent actually. His um, chipping and putting I think kind of outweighed or was much better than where his long game is. So this again was his four iron. Great little drawing shot and that's what was so good. We started to see a few little draws from James when he did get the connection with a little bit of lay down. A shot he doesn't normally see. Now with the driver you can see how high his handle still wants to get. Really fights that when he gets to the lower lofted clubs which tends to lose the ball off to the right for him struggling to control face the path. I think the really positive thing for James here, even though he hit plenty of bad shots, he hit some decent ones, and when he did hit the decent ones, he could really see the difference. He could see a difference in flight, he could see a difference in shape. It was um, impressive in the short time we had together. Yeah, he did really well. Right, we're done. We have, we're gonna track, catch up with him. He, we played together and then he went and played as well a few holes on his own because he wanted to do better. So, let's see what he says about it. We're going for lunch in Madeira, old town. Looks really nice. So that was good today, James? It was, it was very good fun, yeah. But you were disappointed, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, it was a little bit, you know, it's like, it's transitioning from practice to course, it's never going to be like seamless day one. Yeah. Um, but you know, a lot of positives from it as well. And I think that's an important message, because lots of people, I get that with students, they come for a lesson and they think, that's it, the lesson's, that's me done, I'm going to be great. Where yeah, yeah. it was so obvious when we got on that course, and you had to try and make it happen on the course, slopes and everything took their role, didn't it? We're getting run yeah. over that. Hey, we are, yeah. <laughs> You know, the the dry information is great, but it only goes so far. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, I felt a lot of positives from what we practiced, what I practiced, um, and some of those shots came out, some of them didn't. Yeah. Because um, you went and practiced a bit on your own afterwards, didn't you? Yeah, I did like... So we played like nearly nine holes, and then you went and played nearly nine on your own. Yeah. And, and like, massive difference. Yeah. Like, like genuinely, um, you know, always when you're on your own. But, yeah, yeah. Um, I really. Well, I think I add an extra pressure because you want to do not only good for yourself. There's a part of you wants to show the instructor that you can do it, isn't there? Yeah, it adds, of course. It adds yeah, a natural yeah, yeah, yeah. pressure yeah. to it. But no, I felt I felt a difference in what I was doing, and I saw a difference in the strike, and I saw a difference in the flight as well. Yeah, it was um, higher. Much higher. Well, I don't know, much higher. It seemed much higher. To yeah, me. well, it was much and, higher. Um, you know, when we were doing some off camera as well, it seemed to be doing different things. Yeah, yeah. And so I've seen the results of when I do it right. It's just that, you know, it's, it, it, and now it's not going to be, it's going to be 70% of the time, it might be sort of 40. Yeah. But I'm going to build on that. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the key that you do just keep trying to make that go forwards. Yeah. Highlight of the week? I don't know. Um, just dancing. It's boring dancing. There's nothing else <laughs> better than that. That was being so close to you. <laughs>